welcome back chapter 2 acids and bases nature of acids and bases we will discuss today let us do activity is there in uh, first chapter second chapter three columns are there uh, can you see acid uh, substance basic substance neutral substance so by uh, uh, before the slide before class uh, you need to understand about acids basics and neutral substances then we need to fill in this acid acidic substance means apple juice pineapple juice mango juice lemon juice like that basic substances means soap shampoo and um, washing machine powder or otherwise any other um, baking soda like that baking powder like that and neutral substance means water and um, salt like that we need to fill but uh, today's actual topic is about basic of na acidic nature and basic nature we need to see how acids and bases will be there for that can you see here one table column only i have given three times here can you see acid substance acid substance acid substance so one table column only so for understanding bigger view i made this uh, like this uh, this table is important why acids all will be present in this table in exam it definitely six acids will be asked any six acids you need to remember now now we will discuss about uh, vinegar consists of acetic acid lemon and orange consists of citric acid stale consists of butyric acid stale means here waste food uh, spoiled food we will uh, see you know usually in some homes spoiled food also little upper region will be eaten but that is not recommended in consists of butyric acid and lactic acid is present in milk and curd understood oxalic acid spinach tomato it is present in spinach and tomato malic acid is present in apples tannic acid is present in tea Olic acid is present in olive oil. Stearic acid is present in fats. Tartaric acid is present in tamarind and grapes. Palmitic acid is present in palm oil. Ascorbic acid is present in amla. Uric acid is present in urine. So easy one to understand here it is acetic acid. It is present in vinegar. How to remember here? A stands for audio. V stands for video. So audio stands for video. Acetic acid stands for vinegar. Like that, and citric acid usually vitamin C will be there in lemon and orange. In Corona time, you are learning much, so you won't uh, forget it. Citric acid is present in lemon and orange, and uh, uh, false food. That means waste food consists of butyric acid. So butyric acid means here waste acid. So if you remember, must remember. Otherwise, six if you remember means enough. In higher classes, you will be having detailly. Lactic acid is present in milk. That we know. Lactic acid, lactic acid will be there. Curd also a form of milk. Understood that. Now that means curd is prepared from milk only. So both hands is of uh, this uh, lactic acid. And uh, if you see in tomato O, it is ending lastly. O means oxalic acid. You need to remember. O means oxalic acid. You need to remember. Oxalic acid is present in case of spinach, tomato, and apples. You cannot remember here. Malic acid is present. So if you want to remember, just remember. Otherwise, leave it. Tannic acid T stands for tea. So tannic acid is present in tea. Like that, you remember olive oil, olive acid. Here, same it is there, and fats ending with s, so it is tartaric acid. Like that, you remember, and uh, tartaric acid, tamarind. So T stands for T again. Tartaric acid, tamarind. Tartaric and tamarind. Palmitic acid, palm oil. Ascorbic acid, amla. Uric acid, urea. So from here, three last three. Uh, first letter is matching with first letter of the substance. So this total uh, table or column, uh, same table or column only. These are all. Acid versus substance. So you can understand here. Six, if you remember, means enough. So orange, you remember. Milk lactic acid is present. Tea tannic acid is present. Olive oil is present. Olive acid is present. No olive oil like that. You need to present. Now, now let us see about the uh, basic na nature of the things. Acidic we have seen. No, that means whatever acids are present. Now basic nature we will see. Substance is there. Base is there. Lime water. Calcium hydroxide. Very hard to remember basic nature. So only four is given in our textbook. These four are most important. You need to uh, put in the exam like that only. Understood? This basic nature four are completely important. These four lime water is present uh, with calcium hydroxide and glass cleaners consists of ammonium hydroxide and soaps consists of sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. Milk of magnesium. Consists of magnesium hydroxide. Usually, oxides will be present in base. That you need to remember. Simply, if you write a hydroxide, means no mark will be given. Here, can you see glass cleaners will be there. Glass cleaners usually consists of ammonium hydroxide. That's why they will be getting bad smell. 
understood so lime water consists of calcium hydroxide glass cleaners consists of ammonium hydroxide soaps consists of sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide milk of magnesia consists of magnesium hydroxide so these four you need to remember this tabular column no any clues are there just you need to remember like that only understood and then these two tabular columns will be asked for sometimes eight marks understood so any six you need to write which carries four marks and here directly in basic nature four are there directly carries for four marks these are hard topics only but if you see very easy it will be understood acid nature we have seen and uh, a table of first table column we have seen about acidic substance uh, basic substance and neutral substance and when acidic nature that means acidic nature and basic nature if it is added salts are formed acids and bases when we combine for example these are the acids and these two are the bases if we just uh, combine uh, these bases with the uh, acids then it will form into salt so like that uh, we need to fill this tabular column acids four acids you need to write four basics you need to write and four salts you need to write understood and uh, these are uh, important to remember these are basics and acids in, in this chapter we will learn like this only and stories of uh, different kinds of acids and how we discover this uh, what is as what will happen if acid will fall in our body on our skin on our shoes or chapels in the classroom on the bench so this kind of things will be there in this chapter uh, many acid attacks also will be there we will discuss about what will happen if uh, this acid falls on the our face directly with an experiment uh, on the live class understood